So welcome back to another tracks video. This one is a little bit different because rather than directly talking about running, we're going to be talking about the brands in the running space and we're going to be ranking them where we think the caliber lies at the bottom of the chain in terms of running brands, what are actually classed as good running brands. We're going to look at all factors, including athletes, shoes, events, teams, and sort of what they are doing in the space. I guess it's bad to ask for your top nine so maybe just let's hear your top three and why in the comments below but in this video we will be doing two discount codes for nike and adidas so it's first come first serve so if you find the discount code just try it and see if it works if not someone else will have already used it so in ninth place we have hoka and even though hoka probably have some of the best sand shoes on the planet in the clifton i think in terms of innovation they are the worst out of the top nine running brands and in terms of athletes and teams, they seem to have treat their teams quite badly in terms of getting rid of a lots of athletes at once or canceling a team completely. And also, yes, the Clifton is still a very popular shoe, but I think that is because people aren't fixing what isn't broken. And because it was so good five years ago and nothing's really changed since then, no one's really ventured out and tried the new mileage shoes from different brands, which are considerably better. Next is the only other brand that I think may compromise the athlete a bit is Brooks. And again, probably the best selling mileage shoe on the planet in the Brooks Ghost. It is a good solid mileage shoe and all in all their mileage shoes are better than Hoka's in my opinion. And the reason Brooks go above Hoka is because their athletes are of a higher caliber and they also have a more exciting team in the Brooks Beasts which features Josh Kerr, who is obviously the Olympic bronze medalist. And now the top seven on this list, really, I would happily be a part of any brand. Even the two below, actually, they're all really good brands, but these next seven are all brands which I think are really, really good. So seventh is Saucony. And I know that is quite controversial because their endorphin range is probably one of the best all-around shoe lineups in the world with the endorphin speed the endorphin shift and the endorphin pro and they also have some more shoes coming out next year which look very promising in terms of events and athletes i couldn't really name many Saucony athletes and i also couldn't really name any events or notable performances they have done in the past and that's why they are ranked seventh on the list sixth is on and on have been making huge innovations in the running world and the fact that they're sixth on this list after being such a young company is ridiculous and the reason they are sixth is because I still don't think they're quite established in terms of a full range of shoes. Even though their new shoes are considerably better than their previous shoes, I just think they need to carry on releasing some new shoes like the Cloud Monster and like their prototype spikes, what they are, what's on the feet of athletes, which feel absolutely amazing in person. And also their athletes and their team in OAC with the likes of Joe Klecker, Helena Beery is a new addition. And they've got a European team now as well, as well as the podcast side of things. And they just seem to be doing a lot in the running community. Next on this list is Puma. Puma have the likes of Carson Warholm and Mondo Duplantis. So you've got world record holders and Olympic champions, both of them. And Puma's shoes, they are, there's a lot of them, first of all, and they're quite confusing. And that's maybe why I've put them as low as they are, because I couldn't actually tell you which Puma shoes to buy. Their new innovations in shoes and their shoes what are out in the last year are as good as any other brand out there. I think they might lack in the training shoe department, but racing shoe department and athletes, they are up there with all the rest of the brands. I would like to see more from a team aspect as well as events or marketing side of things. Okay, so the top four is where it gets amazing. Basically, all of these brands are the top of the sport for a reason, and I rate them extremely highly. And fourth is ASICs. And ASICs are fourth for me because the only thing that lets them down from being in the top two or the top three is their athletes because there are very few and far between. Like you can't really name many big name athletes who run for ASICs. Yes, you've got Ailish McColgan. Yes, you've got Moketeer. But other than that, really, you know, there's not too many. In terms of a variety of shoes, especially with their new shoes, I would say they're just as good as any other brand on the market. In fact, they're probably in the top three, maybe top two brands in the market in terms of a variety of shoes. But in terms of events and athletes, I think their ranking gets lowered a bit because they're not as iconic or marketable as the other brands. In third place, and many people probably think this is second, I've got Adidas. And the reason Adidas are third for me is from their recent Adidas Breaking Records event. I thought that was done really poorly and they didn't really market the shoe. And also, 
I think that their mileage shoes aren't up to standard compared to other brands on this list. And the fact that they're third is really just showing how still of a powerhouse they are because they're missing a key component in mileage shoes and also their last event was poor. But I still rank them very highly because all in all, they are an amazing brand who do amazing innovation. But because of those factors, I've lowered them down, probably down one place from where I would normally have them uh, most of the time. In second place, I have New Balance. And New Balance, in terms of athletes, have the likes of Sydney McLaughlin, have a very good middle distance and distance range. And also, they now have the best long distance spike and arguably the best super spike I've heard from a lot of people in the New Balance LDX or whatever it's called. It's the Fuel Cell LD. So it's their distance spike. Apparently, it's the best spike on the market. They also have innovations in super shoes with a training shoe, what looks amazing, a racing shoe, which is amazing, and a road flat. They also have events like the opening of the track in Boston, I think it was, and Jack Harlow performed at it. So all in all, they have got a really rounded company and they have probably the most famous or most worthy of a contract athlete on the planet at the minute in Sydney McLaughlin as their main sort of athlete. And it's pretty hard to beat Sydney McLaughlin in terms of marketability. And first is probably the obvious, and that is Nike and it goes without saying, in terms of super shoes, mileage shoes, and training shoes, they have the most versatile lineup. You've got mileage shoes, you've got the Vimeo, you've got the Structure, you've got the Pegasus, you've got the Infinity React, you've got the Invincible. For training shoes, you've got the Tempo Next Percent, you've got the Zoom Fly, you've got the Pegasus Nature Next Percent coming out soon, you've got the new Zoom Fly 5 coming out soon. Racing shoes, you've got the Streak Fly, which also could be a training shoe, you've got the Next Percent, and you've got the Alpha Fly and Alpha Fly 2. So, in terms of versatility, it is phenomenal. And then you've also got track shoes, which, well, they've got like four super spikes now. Um, so it goes without saying, they have the biggest athletes, they have the best shoes, and they do the most with the ruling community, how they're sponsoring Diamond Leagues. The athletes are always doing content. And I mean, everywhere you look in the running world, it is Nike or Nike related. So it's hard to not put them first on this list. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment what videos you want to see next.